Hey guys, Savage Gamer 1998 here, and today this is my first CRT TV review, and one of my VHS tapes just fell. Sorry about that. We're gonna look at this RCA. Hang on, let me just get you to the model number. E13320. Sorry, I'm trying to read this through the camera. It has been a great CRT TV for me. Sorry, I'm pausing a little bit again. I need to stop doing that. This TV has AV inputs and a coax input, obviously, which they're, all TVs are going to have. And this is a 13 inch set. Anyway, we're going to take apart the TV and see the inside of it now. Before I do, I want to give an I want to give an advice to some people who are starting to get into CRTs. I would not recommend you do this unless you are extremely careful. All right, now we have the TV taken apart. And yes, this is what the inside of a CRT TV looks like, for those who don't know. This is the back of the tube. The CRT is known as the cathode ray tube. And what we have on there is the anode deflection cap. There's the tuner. There's the yoke. The deflection yoke. flyback transformer and our power supply which I think it oh now I see it I see it now I think I don't know which one of those is the degaussing plug please don't correct please don't correct me on this it's been a while since I've looked at CRT TVs in general. And this TV uh, is made by... Um, I can't really see who made this. can't really see who made this picture tube. But anyway. There are some important capacitors for a CRT television because... Well, there's a horizontal circuit and a vertical circuit, and those help the picture stay stable. Anyway, I'm going to put this back together and show you the picture with the TV turned on. Oh, and there's the neck board. And one thing I want to mention is that there are some TVs without that bottom plastic thing and if that's not there you should be really careful when taking this apart and trying to service it like my Sanyo over there which I might review someday once I get that repaired so there's no plastic thing you might want to stay next to the TV at all times because if that thing falls back, it could neck the tube and destroy it. And that'll be it for your TV. So yeah, something I want to share. Now I'll put this thing back together. Alright, now I have the TV back together and I'm going to turn it on. And I will show you the picture quality through RF. Let it warm up. Now, I have the VCR hooked up because, as you can see, this has stereo inputs. I know someone's going to point out my pausing again. So, whoever you are, please don't do that. I know I pause a lot. And that's because I'm new at reviewing CRTs, so... 
I, be I don't want to see any comments saying this should be more edited because you, you keep repeating yourself and and pausing all the time I don't need those comments just please but anyway turn it on and demonstrate the picture We have a good picture. Yep. Now right here, I'm gonna have to cut for a second so I can demonstrate the AV inputs. Alright, now I have my Nintendo 64 hooked up by AV, and I know you're wondering, what's that gray splitter cable for? Well, this is a mono TV, so I'm putting all the stereo inputs into that one mono input. The video I can actually do fine, so let's turn it on. And the picture is working well. This set was made in 2001, I forgot to mention. So yeah. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.